Hello and welcome to this video on 15 words to improve your everyday English vocabulary. Let's dive right in. Serendipity. This means a pleasant surprise or a fortunate coincidence. For example, I met my best friend by pure serendipity while waiting in line at a coffee shop. Nostalgia. This means a sentimental longing or wistful affection for the past. For example, Listening to old songs from my childhood fills me with nostalgia. Quintessential. This means the most typical or representative example of something. For example, Paris is often seen as the quintessential romantic city. Euphemism. This means a mild or indirect word or expression used in place of one considered to be too harsh or blunt. For example, she passed away is a euphemism for she died. Ambivalent. This means having mixed feelings or contradictory ideas about something or someone. For example, I feel ambivalent about the new job offer as it means moving to a new city. Procrastinate. This means delaying or postponing something. For example, I always procrastinate doing my laundry until the last minute. Vex. This means to annoy, frustrate, or irritate. For example, the constant buzzing of the fly vexed me and made it difficult to concentrate. Juxtapose. This means to place two things together for the purpose of comparison or contrast. For example, the artist juxtaposed the old and new in her painting to create a sense of tension. Colloquial. This means language that is used in informal conversation. For example, the book is written in a colloquial style that makes it easy to read. Plethora. This means an abundance or excessive amount of something. For example, the store had a plethora of options for coffee lovers. Myriad. This means a great number of something. For example, the internet offers a myriad of resources for learning a new language. Inevitable. This means something that is certain to happen or occur. For example, it is inevitable that we will all face challenges in life. Magnitude. This means the size or extent of something. For example, the magnitude of the earthquake was felt throughout the city. Conundrum. This means a difficult problem or puzzle. For example, solving the conundrum of climate change requires global cooperation and action. Pivotal. This means something that is crucial or essential to the success of something else. For example, her role in the project was pivotal to its success. And there you have it. 
Whether you're using them in conversation, in writing, or just to impress your friends, these words are sure to come in handy. So go out there and start using them today. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more language learning videos.